GSoft 2 by Automation Direct is the quickest and easiest way to program your DuraPulse drives, including the GS10. GSoft 2 software is completely free. Just go to AutomationDirect.com and search for GSoft 2 or follow the link in the description. This video assumes you've already gotten the software connected to the drive. If you haven't and need help with that, please see the GSoft 2 Part 1 video. Click on the parameter button, then click read to get all the current parameter values from the drive. This will take a moment since we're using a serial connection, so I've sped this up a bit. Parameters with green Modbus addresses can be written to while the motor is running, blue can only be written when the motor is not running, and black are read only parameters. This line is important. It tells us that we're currently looking at the drive parameters and not parameters read from the computer, which model drive we were working with, and a reminder that if anything may have changed on the drive, you will need hit read to update. For example, I'll change parameter 0.04 .04 to a 4 at the drive, and nothing changed in software. If I hit read, we'll see the change. It's red because it's not a default value. I love that I can quickly see what parameters have changed from default by looking for the red parameters. You can also see the min and max allowable values for each parameter. Unlike reads, writes from the software to the drive happen automatically as soon as you hit enter or click off the change parameter. Notice as I change the same parameter from software, Right away, we can see the drive is updated. And if you look down here, you can see a message showing that right. In the previous video, I showed the virtual keypad. This can come in handy for testing your programming. I also mentioned the settings required for that to work with the drive. Let's program that so you can see how easy it is to program using this software. So we need to set the start stop command and speed reference to the software connection, which is RS-485. We'll set the remote frequency source to RS-485 by setting parameter 0.20 to a 1, and remote command source to RS-485 by setting 0.21 to a 2. It's so much easier to find the parameters by name rather than by number. Now we can run the drive, adjust speed, and so on. Programming through the software is that easy. Here we have saved parameters. These will be saved in Excel spreadsheet. The new button is helpful when you are not connected to the drive. You can select the drive model, then program everything before you even have a drive. This could be especially helpful if you have a tech or a customer in the field and you need to program the drive for them off-site. Just pay attention to the indication here that this is a file, and here it shows we are modifying the file. Nothing is being sent to the drive. You have to make sure you're connected to the drive and use write all to send these parameters. Rating lets you use your parameters on different sized drive. You can even change from a GS10 to a GS20 and back. Maybe you have everything running right but need a larger drive or you need a group of drives set up the same, but they're different sizes. Just change the drive, then set your motor parameters and you're ready to go. Again, this is a file operation, not a drive operation, so make sure you write to the drive. One thing to keep in mind, if you are trying to change to a GS20, set up for GS2 mode or GS4, ratings will allow you to change the drive model, but will not preserve the parameter settings because the parameter set is too different. Next we have open, which opens a save file. Notice once again, we're dealing with a file, not a drive. So open, save, and new are disk file operations. Read and write are drive operations. Since this particular file should be what's on my drive, let's hit the compare button and see if it is. We have the drive tab and the file tab, which show all the parameters in each that are changed from default. Then we have the drive versus file tab, which shows any differences between the two. 
This comes up blank in this instance because they match exactly. One final note. At the time I'm doing this video, GSoft 2 only works with the GS10, GS20, and GS4 drives. But we do have free software for other drives we sell as well. The GS10 family of drives have an awesome feature set normally reserved for much more expensive drives. We've created a step-by-step -step video tutorial library for the drive that will help you get up and running quickly with those features. And many of the GS20 videos will work on the GS10 as well. Automation Direct is providing the products and support you need to make us your common sense way to buy industrial controls. If you need more help, please see our tech support options here. To see all GS10 drive videos, click here. And click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel for upcoming products and solutions.